Hey guys, so it's been a little while. Sorry about that. Alright, so if you guys want to know what's been up with me lately, I'll have it in the down bar, but that is not why we're here today. Um, I actually started off by just putting glue stick on my eyebrows just to flatten them out to make my life easier. Once I did that, I started outlining um, the wings that he has on the side of his face, mostly because I wasn't sure if this was going to work at all. So I just wanted to kind of get that out of the way and see if, you know... I would have to change something or whatever. Then I started outlining his mask. I started um, just with the bottom half because his mask isn't a full face mask. So I just made it a little bit easier. And then I also um, tried very hard to get the eye holes symmetrical. It does help if you kind of um, draw a dot where the furthest part is going to be on the second hole and then kind of play connect the dots. Then I marked out where the big A was going to be. Does anybody have Scarlet Letter references floating through their heads? I did. Now, um, he is a little bit lighter than I am, according to the pictures that I was looking at. I just kind of, yeah. So, um, I used a lighter foundation. Either way, I would have used foundation anyway, just so that my skin can be perfect, or as perfect as possible. Um, and then I also contoured a little bit mostly just to give a little shadow where the mask would be where you would naturally have a shadow there I also started contouring my nose a little bit and um, the bottom part of my lip because his is a little bit fuller than mine um, and he also has a butt chin I mean there's he has a butt chin <laughs> And once I did all that, I filled in the rest of the mask in blue, and I started painting the rest of me. Then I filled in the A with white. I would use a smaller brush than this, just because it's less annoying. Um, and you can get the details in better. But that is completely up to you, depending on how difficult you want to make your life. You know me. Then I went back and I highlighted some parts uh, just using concealer because I realized I didn't actually do that when I did all the contouring. And this basically just helps give dimension where you want it and it helps change your face just a little bit. I also uh, used a little bit of concealer um, just to cancel out the redness on my lids and to get rid of any dark circles that I had. Then for the star that he has on his chest that you guys actually can't really see in the rest of the video, whatever, um, I just painted it white. <laughs> I also went back over any spots that were kind of patchy um, and just went over with them with blue. Then I started outlining everything. This is really what's going to bring the whole look together and to me it's the most fun. So I started off uh, just with the face mask and with the A. I didn't really worry about doing all the like sketchy cartoony stuff until after I did that, just because it makes things easier for me. If doing it the other way makes it easier for you, then go ahead. And then I started uh, drawing in the little feather marks for the wings on the sides of his head. Um, I really drilled in how my face was going to look now because I was changing everything. And um, I also did a little bit of doodling and shading and stuff on my chest and neck. Um, the neck part, I kind of had to wing it because I really couldn't find a good picture that I wanted for that. Oh. 
And then he also has like little, um, it almost looks like um, fish scales. So I started drawing some of those in. And then I also highlighted a little bit with uh, white eyeshadow. That is completely optional, but I don't know. Then for the eyelid, I just drew it in with white for the actual like white part of the eye. And then I used different shades of blue, um, a lighter blue to do the actual color. And then to give it a little more dimension, I used a darker blue on the outside and black to give myself, you know, an iris. And that's basically it. So I hope you guys like this. If you did, leave me a comment down below letting me know what you want to see next. Subscribe to see what comes out of my channel next. And yeah, see you guys next time. Bye.